it's Jess and in today's video I'm going to be talking about foods that you think are vegan but aren't. And the reason that I decided to do this video today was because I had a thing that happened this past weekend where basically I was eating chips that I just assumed were vegan because, you know, they're chips and I decided to look at the packet, like the bag, um, after I was done eating like God, five servings, a lot of chips, I ate a lot of chips. And I realized that they weren't vegan, so I thought I would make this video to kind of tell you guys like some things to watch out for, uh, food-wise, that may not be vegan, but also to let you guys know that it's okay to mess up sometimes, as long as you are doing your very best to cut down the amount of hurting that animals are going through and like the amount of suffering that your own body will do and stuff like that like as long as you're like doing your best to cut it down making mistakes is co a completely human thing it's a thing that like you guys should not be ashamed of if it happens i know i was kind of just like seriously like are you serious like when i found out but i also got over it and realized that it is definitely a learning opportunity so with all that aside let us just delve right into foods that you should watch out for because they might not be vegan <laughs> So my first one are the the thing that made me make this video in the first place are the chips that I ate. And so many chips are vegan. Um, the obvious ones aren't. Uh, Doritos obviously are not because they're covered in cheese. Uh, the Cool Ranch also has dairy stuff on them. But the ones that I had were the Hint of Lime. I think they're by Lay or like Tostitos. I don't even know who they're by. But they're like the Hint of Lime chips that you put with salsa. Uh, those are not vegan as much as you want to think that they are. They're not. Um, a lot of chips aren't. And so it's really important to make sure you're looking at all of the labels and things. And it very clearly said this includes milk ingredients. But, you know, I didn't read the label because I didn't think I had to. So if you're eating chips, make sure you actually look at the label because you never know what might be in them. They contained milk products which were whey. I was reading the like ingredients and they had whey in them and whey is an animal byproduct that comes from dairy and so y'all need to be careful because it that one likes to sneak into a lot of things so be wary of your chips the next one was something that i made the mistake on when i first went vegan and i remember i went shopping to like start my vegan lifestyle type of deal and i bought the this type of cereal thinking that it was vegan because like why wouldn't it be and i remember before i ate it i was like just reading through all the ingredients again because i was just being like super like i need to know everything and it's the special k cereal it was the special k just the regular one and that one also contains milk ingredients. I'm pretty sure it was the same thing as like the chips I, that it contained whey, but um, it does for sure contain milk ingredients. So be careful of that. Special K's, most of their cereals are not vegan, uh, but the the red berry one that has like the strawberries and stuff, that one is vegan and it's really delicious. So if you're going to go for a Special K cereal, definitely go for that one. However, I definitely recommend going for, I forget the name of it now, but it's like just the more organic type of cereals. Um, cereal, if it's like whole wheat, can actually be really good for you. So if you're going to go for a cereal, avoid all of the like super, super processed ones and try to go for the minimally processed ones or, you know, oatmeal because who doesn't like oatmeal? So if you think a cereal is vegan, double check because it might not be. The next one is french fries. And a lot of people that are vegan already know that french fries might be not vegan, but a lot of people that aren't vegan don't know that they could be not vegan. I think that made sense. Depending on how they're cooked can be vegan. Most of the time they're cooked in oil. Uh, depending on whether that oil is peanut oil, which is like the normal oil for french fries to be cooked in, or if it's cooked in animal lard oil. <laughs> The french fries from McDonald's are, for example, not vegan because they are cooked in lard and lard is like animal fat, I think. Yeah, it's like animal fat. It's just gross. Like, I don't want to eat that. Um, and as much as I don't eat oil normally, I would much prefer the peanut oil or the coconut oil or the vegetable oil or the hemp seed oil. Is that an oil? I think that's an oil. I would much rather prefer my fries to be coated in that than in animal lard. So. Something that I always do at restaurants is I always ask if the fries are cooked in animal lard or like what they're cooked in. A lot of the times they are vegan. A lot of times the french fries are vegan, but a lot of the times they're also not. So I would definitely recommend checking out 
the restaurant, um, seeing if they have any info online. Usually if they're higher in fat, they're going to be higher in animal products. It's just like a general rule for food. However, not all the time. So I definitely recommend asking. Don't be afraid to ask people questions. That was one thing that I had to really struggle with when I went vegan was I struggled with asking people questions. So I had to learn to ask people questions about how they cook their food because I want to know what I'm putting into my body. The fourth thing that might not be vegan is fruit snacks. Fruit by itself is delicious and whole and just very pure and vegan, obviously. However, when they make fruit snacks, uh, a lot of them are very, very artificially flavored. They're not good for you. They have so much sugar and most of them contain gelatin. And gelatin is, from what I understand, made from horse hooves or like bone, char, something. It's animal based. I don't eat it. Most of the snacks that like normal, normal Americans are eating are just like, oh, so not healthy for you. Even though there's fruit in the name, it doesn't mean it's good for you. So I definitely recommend going to a Whole Foods like marketplace, not like Whole Foods, like the supermarket, but like a place that has organic foods, if you know what I mean. And a lot of the times they will have fruit snacks that are actually like made with real fruit and not just like things that taste like fr fruit. They're also most of the time the organic ones like the healthy fruit snacks are vegan because animal products aren't healthy. Sorry to burst your bubble, they're not. So I recommend getting the good fruit snacks because a lot of them are actually really really good. And the last product that you need to be careful with is bread. I'm always just like so like angry if it's bread, right? Bread. No, it doesn't it doesn't have animal products in it, right? No. A lot of them do. A lot of breads do. A lot of breads have casein in them, which is an animal byproduct, uh, just to, I guess, kind of hold the bread together or something. I don't actually know what it's used for. So I just wanted to mention that I actually did go and look up the use of casein in bread, and I couldn't actually find an answer. I don't know if I didn't look in the right places, but obviously it's not that important. The fact is that it's it contains animal products. And that's gross. And there's like other breads that don't. My favorite bread is Ezekiel bread. And I'm sure like if you watch other YouTubers, you know what Ezekiel bread is. I don't actually buy a lot of bread just because I'm trying to lean out and bread isn't the best thing to do when you're trying to lose weight. However, I still eat bread like on occasion. And Ezekiel is my favorite. It like tastes healthy, if you know what I mean, but it doesn't taste bad. Like it tastes, I really, really like Ezekiel bread. And I much prefer that one. It's super hearty and filling and delicious and vegan most of the time. Another thing you also need to watch out for in bread is that a lot of them contain honey and my viewpoints on honey are a little different from most vegans so I'm not going to really go into that in this video but if you are a strict strict vegan and you avoid honey a lot of breads actually do contain honey as like a sweetener so just be aware of that. As long as you're reading ingredients like you're going to be fine. But basically to wrap up this whole video read ingredients and ask people questions. A lot of the foods that we assume are going to be vegan aren't because some company was like, I hate all vegans and I want to put things that are going to make them sad in the food that they're eating. That's probably not what happened, but it's all about money. It is, right? So, biggest tip to take away, read the ingredients, ask questions, and don't be afraid to try new foods. A lot of the foods that like I ate before I was vegan were very like plain and simple. I would not go out of the box for like a lot of things. I would just eat like what I was used to eating. And going vegan, I've been able to expand my horizons and eat a bunch of new fruits and vegetables that I never would have touched. I was a very, very picky child. I eat peas now, so that's a difference from when I was little. Although I still don't like peas. Uh. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like and please comment down below if you guys have any video suggestions or comments or things and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I will talk to you guys in my next one and I'll see you guys later. Bye!